Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to talk through our candy statistics assignment, um, entering data into Excel and doing our descriptive statistics portion of the assignment. So we'll do numbers, talk about how to do numbers 10 through 16 here. Number 10 tells you to do the mean and kind of walks through how to do that in Excel um, in the next few steps all the way up to number 14 where it then tells you to do the median mode and standard deviation for all of our color categories. Uh, and then finally we'll be doing our sum of all of our package totals which we've done. Uh, some people have done already but we'll show you how to do it in Excel and then also the package volume. So we'll talk about how to use Excel to do some of this stuff for us. So we'll click over to Excel and before we do that I'm just going to show you a little bit of formatting. So you'll see I've done some formatting. I'm going to show you how I did this. Um, I left a blank line on the top. If you didn't leave a blank line, let me delete that. You can put one in there by just right clicking on row one and doing insert. It'll insert a row above it. And I left that because I like to put a title in my spreadsheet. So I'm going to click and highlight that whole first row just by clicking and dragging. And I'm going to click merge and center. And when I do that, it's, it creates one big cell, and I can type candy statistics, my title, and hit enter. And there's my title. The next thing that I always like to do with my data in a chart is to make it um, with borders so it's easier to see. And so I'm going to click on the underneath my text, my font info. I can click a drop down and click all borders, and it'll add all of those. And then for each color, I highlighted each row, and then I filled those with color. Under, also underneath the uh, font, I just filled it and I chose a color. And I tried to choose shades of the color that are easy to read still, but uh, you can kind of go with what you feel there. So I've got that formatted. Um, just makes it look a little more clean, professional, and uh, way to make things look just nice. And that's kind of how how you can impress future employers and teachers and people like that as you move forward using Excel. It's a nice thing to do. Um, I'm going to leave two spaces, two lines underneath here for my package total. I can go ahead and just type that in right away. If I click on that cell, package total, package volume. I'm going to put that underneath all of my data because later we'll be doing I calculate that. If your cells don't match up, you can go up to the, uh, the column and on the right side of each column, if you hover over the line, you can resize it by clicking and dragging. Or you can even just double click when those arrows pop up and it'll resize it to the size you want. So I'm going to leave those two there and move down one more. I leave a blank and I'm going to type in mean and I'm going to start doing my descriptive statistics. So here's where I'll do mean median, mode, and standard deviation. So to do this, what we'll do is, um, in fact, maybe I'll highlight that and I'll select all these and move them over one. And then maybe what I'll do, standard deviation is getting cut off, so I'll make that bigger. Then maybe what I'll do is I'll format this so that the reason I'm putting it down here is because then I can kind of see all of my cells here and my information. Otherwise, I, I can put it on the end. If you want to put it on the very end, you can. I'm just doing it for the purposes of showing you guys here. So I'm going to copy and paste this set of information. So if I copy that and paste Control C and Control V, now I can do the mean median mode for all of my colors right here. And again, if you don't want to copy and paste and you want to just put mean median mode at the right side of your screen, that's fine. I'm just going to keep it here so it's easy to see for this video. All right, so let's do our descriptive statistics. To do this, you could in Excel start typing and manually enter all of your numbers and add them together and then divide, or you can even use a calculator and then just enter a number, but that's not the point of Excel. Excel uses functions to do all this stuff for us. So to do a function in Excel, you type equals in the cell you want, 
And once you type equals, Excel will try to, to guess or give you options for common functions up here at the top left corner. You could type if you know what the function is named, but Excel uses abbreviations, so sometimes it's best just to look through this list. So typically, average is in this list, and it doesn't look for mean, it looks for average. So you click on average, and then in a uh, dialog box pops up, and you can see that it enters the function average, and then it puts in parentheses the cells that it wants to take the average of. So it chose B2 through B12. That is not correct. So we need to actually choose the cells we want. And you can do that just by clicking on the cell, the first cell, and then dragging to the right and click and letting go on our last cell. So B3 through U3. And it puts that in there. It also puts it up in our formula bar up at the top. And when I click OK, it finds the average for us right here, 4.55. And you could move on, and you could do the red, you could do the blue, you could do the brown, green, and orange. You can also, instead of redoing it over and over, again, you can see there's my value. Up here is my formula. If you look in the right bottom right corner, there's a little square here now. If I hover over that square, it changes my cursor. And if I click and drag that square down, it highlights all of these cells and it copies that formula down and it changes. So if you look at my formula bar up here, it's B3 and U3 right now for yellow, but for red, it's B4 and U4, blue is five, brown is six, and so on and so on. So it does all that for us. So there's your mean. Median, you'll do the same thing. Mode is a little bit different because if you look through our function lists, and I could just click on this fu insert function button. Mode is a little bit different. I have mode here because I've used it recently, but if you can't find it, you can type in mode, and it's gonna give you a few options. Just go ahead and use the first mode one in this case. It may only give you one of the numbers, but that's okay for the purposes of this assignment. We can talk about that more later. So choose your mode and then Finish that out. Mean, median, mode, and standard deviation. It's the exact same thing. Type equals and then find the function and select your data you want to use for those statistics. All right, so we've done our descriptive statistics. Now we want to find the total and volume of each of these packages. So each trial, each of you put in um, numbers. So we're going to find the total number for each of these packages and then the volume. You could compare if you already have this info in your. Um, in your spreadsheet, great. You could do this again just to compare, or you can skip the total part, um, but we'll do the volume as well. So for the package total, we'll use a function again, and we'll do equals, and this time we'll do the sum, adding up all of those, and then we'll use the sum of that column right there, B3 through B8, and hit enter, and it adds all those up, 24. You could then click, drag across, and it'll have the sum of all of your columns. It's giving us an error. What is that saying? Formula. Let's just ignore that error. For the volume, we're going to do equals. And I think in my research, the volume of one piece of candy is roughly 0.636 or something like that. And so we'll take that times our total and they'll give us the total volume of our package and so you can hit enter whatever you find for your volume you can do that but you type in equals and you can actually just type in numbers and use it as a calculator so if, say you find the volume to be 0.636 you do 0.636 times by using the little star asterisk um, and then times your total and that will give you your volume of your package and then you can take that and again, drag it all the way across, and you have the total volume for all of your packages. So with that, we've done descriptive statistics and the package total and package volume. So you should be up through numbers 10 through 16 now in your assignment.